playing the bridge. Fourth line of your chart, we have the bridge which starts on E minor. So after the second chorus, right to the bridge. I'm gonna play the bridge for you. Three, four. That's the whole bridge, just four measures. And here's a spot where we have two chords in the same measure, so you're gonna change on the first up, just like you did in all the other places. So I'm changing on the first up to the D from E minor. Um, I like to use this fingering of the E minor, one and two, so I can go right across to the D chord. You can use two and three, whichever you like, but this is a little more direct. Now the second measure of the bridge has the regular old C chord that we've used in our other two songs, um, and then a G, and then you'll see there's a symbol there. It says D, the slash, F sharp. It means D with the F sharp in the bass. It's the first inversion of a D chord. You don't have to play that. You can just play the, re the regular D chord. And you'll see on the chart, there are slashes above it. That's not exactly the rhythm, it just tells you what beats those chords occupy. But here's the rhythm you're going to play. E minor. C. Okay, so it's on the C, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So it's an eighth note and two sixteenths three times in a row. So C, first it's a quarter note, and then the down, down, up, the eighth and two sixteenths. Then the G, down, then the D. So those rhythms, ta, 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 all the same. On that measure, Next measure, same thing as the first one, E minor to D. Last measure, you go back to the C chord and you just back to the normal strumming pattern. That's it. Continuing on, I'm going to talk about the guitar solo here because really it's just a marriage of the verse and the bridge. So the first half of it, If you want to play that D with the F sharp in the bass, it goes like this. It's like a D chord, it is a D chord, but what you're doing essentially is taking this F sharp that's up here and you're moving it down two octaves. So uh, we're going to actually keep these two notes, but we have to change our fingers just to grab it. So the third finger is going to stay where it is. The first finger is going to come down here to the second fret of the sixth string, and the first finger is going to come over here to where the first finger was. And we kind of mute this A string, but if it, if, you, if it rings out, that's okay too, because that's part of the chord. We just don't want to hit this high E. And if you kind of lay your finger across a little bit, it'll actually stop that. First finger, second fret, sixth string. The A can be open or it can be muted by this first finger touching it. Open D string, second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, third fret, second string, and then the high E is muted. G going to the D with the F sharp in the bass, going to the E minor. And what's essentially happening is that bass line is ascending or descending. It's optional, but if you like it, play it.